So we're here today with Paul and Lynette Randerson, our CTK Global Partners with YWAM Kona. Do you guys want to tell us a little bit about yourselves? Hi guys, it's good to be with you. Uh, I'm Paul and this is Lynette, just in case you're confused. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have four boys. We have Josiah and Austin and they are both in college. And we have Kyle, who's in his first year of high school. And we have Trey, who's nine and he's in fourth grade. Yeah, so uh, we first met in Kona actually. So Kona is a special place to us. We met here in 1997, 25 years ago, and we got married a year later in 1998. And uh, tell you a little bit about YWAM Kona and a little bit about YWAM globally. Uh, YWAM is a global ministry uh, and it operates in over 180 countries and it's been around since 1960. And so uh, we've been here on staff for about 15 years. And um, one of the great things about YWAM Kona is this is where the founders, Darlene and Lauren Cunningham, live. So that's kind of a, a neat thing that we get to be with them. Uh, they're both in their 80s now, so they're, they're getting older, but it's great to be with them while they're still with us. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about YWAM Kona specifically. Uh, we send out uh, over 100 outreach teams per year, and we go to around 50 countries. And we disciple over 1,000 uh, missionaries every year in the different schools that run on the base, uh, different discipleship training schools, and different upper level courses as well. So there's a lot of activity here at YWAM Kona. Um, what am I specifically involved in? Uh, I'll share a little bit about what I do, and then Lynette will share some of the things that she's been involved with. Uh, my passion is to really uh, work behind the scenes to allow things to go better as far as the ministry of YWAM Kona. So uh, I have two primary roles. One is sort of finance and stewardship. So training our outreach teams on how to uh, look after their accounting information. And also we train the school leaders in how to operate to a budget and uh, YWAM Kona has a budget of around $25 million a year. So it's a fairly big uh, organization and um, it takes a lot of people to, to run it properly and with good stewardship. And the second thing that I do is I run the Salesforce system, uh, which is essentially when someone is applying to come to YWAM Kona as a student or a staff or a volunteer, uh, they use the Salesforce system. So we're constantly uh, building that system to make it work better and sort of my passion is to do my role so that YWAM Kona can be even more fruitful on outreach. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So Lynette, you want to share yeah. a little bit about what you, what you um, do? Find so out? I am the very opposite, not the uh, techno and kind of money side of things. My heart is really to um, work with women and children particularly, um, whether it's young moms, uh, whether it's at the pregnancy center with um, someone who's just trying to decide what to do with a pregnancy, um, and also with, particularly with women who might be coming out of harder um, situations in life. So um, I've worked with DTSs, helping one, doing one-on-ones, doing, um, times where I serve young, um, young, young women, I guess, young uh, 20s, um, just kind of walking through overcoming some of the hard things that they've done in their lives. So that's really my heart is uh, encouragement and uh, discipling. And I love hospitality. Um, it's really what drew me to YWAM was the heart of hospitality that's behind um, the founder Darlene's heart. And so that's how I come to came to come to YWAM. Uh, my ultimate desire and heart is really been serving and loving on my children for the past 21 years and um, raising up godly men to uh, just kind of go into the world. So, of course, that's been my strong passion. The last um, two years, 22 months exactly, um, I've been fighting breast cancer. So my um, intentions and my desires have been kind of put on pause so that I can hopefully have many more years of encouraging and walking alongside of um, women and children. And I do strongly believe that this tough season 
will be a tool that God will give me to um, enhance that passion of mine to serve women who have come out of hard situations. Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of my heart and where I have served and then not served in the last <laughs> 22 months. Yeah, well, we really appreciate both of you and your service. And it's interesting how it's opposite ways of serving but all with the same goal right sharing jesus with yeah. the world and caring for other people so we really appreciate that thank That's you awesome. yeah uh if i could just say one more thing uh we're just so thankful for christ the king mm -hmm. bellingham mm -hmm. and just so thankful for them appointing you guys to be the global ambassadors and i think it says a lot about christ the king that they would have you guys in that role and uh yeah, just while we're on camera, uh, just thank you for yeah. coming. Uh, you guys still have some more time here, but we've already had a great time having you guys here, and we feel really encouraged. So Huge just thing. yeah, just kind of passing along our greetings to Christ the King. Uh, we've been so blessed by this church uh, for many years now, mm -hmm. and uh, just feel encouraged. Uh, sometimes when you're on a rock in the middle of the ocean. It can be a lonely place, uh, but we have felt really encouraged by you guys and Grant and Laurel and some of the other uh, missions leaders there. So, yeah, just thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, it's our honor you. to be here with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.